When this day of pageantry is over, the president has to work with Congress on a debt deal and deal with the priorities on his second term agenda. The president expected to set a tone for those talks in his inaugural address. The House Majority Leader, Republican Congressman Eric Cantor of Virginia, is at the Capitol. Congressman, good morning. Good morning. So what can the president say in this inaugural address that will make a difference for you and your fellow Republican leaders? Well, you know, today is, is a historic day. There's a lot of excitement here around the Capitol this morning. And I know I'm looking forward to hearing the president's inaugural speech today. Uh, it, it's a day that reminds us of the fact that we all are in this together. No matter who you voted for, no matter where you are philosophically, it's about America today. And I hope we can take that spirit after today going forward to get to work for the people. And why do you think that hasn't been true in the past? Well, I mean, listen, there's some very weighty issues, some extremely challenging uh, items that we've got on the agenda. Uh, and uh, I do hope, though, that we can begin to get down to work as soon as possible, try and set aside the differences that have been plaguing Washington over the last couple of years and actually get something done. Do you think it'll be different this time around, Eric Cantor? Uh, well, I certainly hope so. I think that there's an expectation coming out of the election that uh, the American people are going to see a federal government that works and that works for them. And, and perhaps we can get about that business right away. And uh, looking forward again to the president uh, kicking this off in a way that all of us can rally together. You've just returned from a retreat with fellow Republicans uh, talking about how you're going to move forward. It sounds like there's a sense of being more conciliatory as you want to pass a three-month extension um, on the debt limit. Was that what came out of your, your conference? Well, I think going back to the election again, I think it's important to remember the message from the people was they want a government that works. And uh, where we uh, came out of the retreat last week as Republican House members is said we want a government that works. We need a spending plan. Uh, and that's why we've asked the Senate uh, to join us in actually passing a budget so we can begin to see um, how we're going to pay off this debt, how we're going to spend other people's money, the taxpayer money, uh, and begin an earnest discussion about the real issues uh, facing this country, both fiscally and otherwise. And that's, I think, the explanation for our position on the debt ceiling. Leader Cantor, you know the Senate, led by the Democrats, hasn't passed a budget in four years. Um, what makes you hopeful that they'll put forward something this year? Well, I mean, I, I think it, it, times demand uh, as much. And my, my uh, takeaway, again, from this election is that people want to see a government that works. Uh, they want their life to work again. And it's time that Washington get with it. Uh, and that is why I believe, hopefully, the Senate can see clear to doing a budget, putting a spending plan out there for the world to see, all of us in this country, so we can begin to unite around the things that bring us together, set aside the differences, and get some results. Do you feel the president has been tougher since the election? Well, I, I think the president, um, you know, is... Uh, certainly uh, do the, uh, the uh, status of the, of the victor in the election, but today he's commander in chief. And today I think all Americans are here to witness history in the making. Uh, and I'm hopeful that he can take the uh, voters' confidence uh, and translate that into a unifying message to bring all sides together now, uh, because I do think it's high time that we do that. Uh, the American people will certainly be happy to hear that. Eric Cantor, thank you so much for joining us. We'll have more, more of our special inaugural coverage at the top of the hour. Stay with us. You're watching CBS This Morning from Washington, and your local news is next.